needs. And in it goes. One. You look sharp. <laughs> Well, sometimes you just have to trust a look. Yeah, it worked out beautifully. Just cannoned one of the reds to the right of, or the left of the one that he potted. Half ball, which deflects Six. the cube up towards blue and pink. So, all of a sudden now, first good chance in this frame has fallen to Shouting Tong. Black's still tied up, but if you can somehow get that pink into play. I think if he pots the pink, it's spots occupied perhaps, so that would go on the black spot which would help. Ooh, can he just Seven. jab this pink in? Is he straight enough on it to attempt it? But you can see the pink spot there now is clearly visible, so that will be an open plate if you can knock this in. Thirty. Fourteen. Yeah, they're just discovering what all of the players involved in Group 1 and 2 discovered the week before Christmas, that these tables are reactive. As is the case with the Champion of Champions, the tables being used are Rasson, produced in China. 20. There you can see. And I thought can dip storm. We had 30 century breaks in total. Yeah, absolutely, Phil. I commentated on Group 1 and the centuries flying in all over the place. The key thing for players, they can accustom themselves to the way the bed cloth is playing, the response out of the cloth, the bed cloth, and the speed of it, but the cushion rails, that's critical. If they're reliable and the players can trust the cushions to rebound at a, a set speed, 28. a consistent speed, they can judge well then you know heavy scoring and good positional play is always much more possible for them sometimes you get bad bounces it can put you completely out of position on occasions having to concentrate on the pink here predominantly because the black's out of commission 34 but this is a useful little contribution from Xiao Xing Tong so far can keep it going just 35. about make enough from this visit to leave Mark Selby at the snooker's required stage. He's only beaten Selby on one previous months. occasion. There are the Championship League meetings. Selby prevailed 3-1. That was in Group three, the same as this, in last year's Invitational Championship League. As for meetings outside of this tournament, Selby's dominated. Five wins out of five. Go back a few years, Xiao Xing Tong was an even quicker player than he is these days. I've noticed two or three seasons ago he just slowed his rhythm down ever so slightly. 49. Walked around the table a little slower than he used to. Just took that extra bit of care on every shot that he played, and I just thought that might hindrance him a little bit. 
and take away some of his natural flair because he can e easily stifle that by changing 55. the game too much but it seems to work for him Six. You're absolutely right, Don. Players who radically slow down never improve. I think players who just take a little more time, such as him, they're the ones who benefit. And what a great shot that was. Not a good kiss there, mind you, but he's in total control of the frame even though he's not going to win it in a single visit. No, an unlucky cannon that time, but... Brown yeah. Now, why don't you play to stun him behind the yellow here and try and knock that round to the side cushion? And that's exactly what Xiao Tong's tried to do here. And that will make Xiao things Zintong. doubly 63. difficult for Mark Selby. Appreciative of that contribution there from Xiao Tong. It was a very good one. And it's put him to within a ball or so of winning this first frame. Over on table two, Zhao Gadong is just about to take a 1-0 lead over Stuart Bingham. Far, the miss. Zhao Jing Tong for. Well, Selby missed those reds by a whisker. Whether you heard that conversation between player and referee, Selby very sportingly saying, no, the snooker is actually harder than where Brendan had replaced the cue ball initially. But I'll tell you what, Dom, we try and categorise players and say, who's the best in a particular discipline? For me, when it comes to getting out of snookers and doing no damage, Selby is right at the top of the tree. Yes, I think all the great tactical players are in a situation like that. People like John Higgins, Mark Selby, of course, even Ronnie O'Sullivan, a terrific tactical player. Problem is, you know, you play on these tables all the time with a new cloth, and you just get to know them so well. I know this is a Rasson table, not the star table that we're more accustomed to, but. Yes, normally with the Championship League, we play the invitation event, at least, in four-day bursts. Now, this is something unusual. Six days of competition, and it will be interesting to see how the tables are playing on Friday and Saturday. Much snooker under the bridge before then, though. on the top cushion there to play into. A little unlucky there. He's left a potable red on for Mark Selby. But I'm sure we'll look to pot as many of these loose reds as he can do with high value colours. Then maybe leave that red that's near that right side cushion there to get the snookers. One. Doesn't actually need any snookers, but chances are if he doesn't get on that red that's near the right side cushion, he would snooker Zhao Zing Tong. Still enough on the table for him to win this first frame. And he just... 56 points behind now, 59 remain. Yeah, that does make life slightly easier. Seven. It does give him the option of the occasional pink or even one blue. But let's just assume, and it's a big assumption, Eight. that he does spot all of the reds with high value colours. He's then still got the problem of the green and brown. Well, 
putting. Mark just had a, an ideal angle there on the pink to play for the difficult red. Oh, good pot. We had to dig right down into the <laughs> cue ball there. But he could do it taking the C still. Well, actually, if he pots a pink, he'd be 42 behind with 43 remaining, so he would need two blacks. Mark will take anything on here, even if the red does pop to 21. the right corner. Mark's will be 21. Decent contribution, but he'd be very disappointed with that safety shot. Chance here for Zhao Xing Tong to pop the frame ball red he needs. In it goes. One. He looks sharp, doesn't he? First impressions favourable. Now will Selby continue? Chance to maybe stun him behind the pink here, but he'd have to be careful where the red goes. Yeah, that's why he played a stunning behind the green, a more difficult shot. But by stunning in behind the, the pink, if he didn't manage it, the red would have been near that green pocket. Where's this black? Oh my goodness me. You have to be so careful when you play Mark Selby. A mistake like that can end up costing him a frame because Mark Telby, as we all know, tactically, well, he knows everything about the game. Born out by this shot here. What a great shot he's played. Get the impression with Mark Selby. If he ever wanted to take up three cushioned billiards, after a while he might be quite good. He's got that kind of mindset. Foul. And the slight miss from Zhao Zintong a little earlier might come back to bite him. Now just one snooker needed. And of course with that ball where he nearly knocked the black in, he also freed up the green and to a lesser extent the brown. Yes, One. Mark had a great angle to get down the table for the black there, but has the cue will travel far enough? Can he still snick this in? Well, he could. It was important because one snooker is all that Mark Selby needs now to tie. He'd have taken the pink there or any other colour, he'd have needed an extra snooker. Eight. Incredible. I didn't give Mark Selby a hope of winning this frame ten minutes ago. Mark Selby, eight. I think the key to playing Selby is that when you get to a point where you have frame ball on you should really say to yourself it's frame ball plus at least another two to give yourself a comfort zone yes when you're playing Mark Selby in that sort of position you just want to pot enough so that you don't think he's going to return to the table basically made a mistake here, he snooked himself on the green. Mark Selby two.
also think that with Selby now, his reputation for stealing frames is so stellar that players might be getting a little nervous more nervous against him than Prince. against other players in this kind of situation Don definitely and of course if you can steal a frame in this sort of fashion psychologically it gives you a huge boost and completely deflates your opponent or oh, might be disappointed there trying to get the cubal in behind the black but Far too much stun on the ball, and finally now Zhao Sinton looks as though he Box will win this first frame. Four, I'm afraid. Mark Selby this time does concede, and so that really well crafted 63 break.